What's up, everybody? It's Transformers over T17 here, aka the Miss Prime, and here's the second figure for my package. And you probably already know what it is from the uh, description up on top. But were you really expecting anything else? Wingboy 8 Optimus Prime. Um, I gotta say, out of <coughs> out of uh, the uh, Jetpack Bumblebee and Wingblade. Wingblade is my favorite. Just because how versatile it is and just love it. And mostly, I wanted a Crystal Prong so I can do this. Ooh. Anyway, enough of that. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, basic uh, Voyager Optimus Prime mold. And I'm not going to put the wing blade armor on the America version. It's the same mold. We all know it can fit. So, take the axe off. I never really liked, like, I never really liked these, the gun and the axe. I like the prime, not this. Here is what really should go there. The wing blade pack. Now I really should have taken this part and shown you how it goes on, but basically, the, these are the gauntlets here. Here's the Magnus Hammer. Here are the blasters. That all goes together on the jetpack. Now, basically, what you're gonna do is attach it right up in here. And it fits in very snugly. Very nice. I now when I got the figure, I didn't honestly think I was gonna like the uh, the vehicle mode for it. Um, but I freaking love the thing. Like it's so awesome how it, you know pegs on there and everything is used for it. Well, besides this, I mean, but who the hell cares? I mean, I guess maybe you could put it on top and I guess it kind of stays it doesn't peg in but it fits sort of oh and it is smoky plastic and it's all crystal same as this um so yeah here's the uh, wing pack on the vehicle mode uh, now for the figure to truly shine we need the transformer first which you've probably seen transformation a thousand times I might just cut it out but uh, if I don't you just have to deal with it That is my air conditioner. And this is a lot more tighter than the uh, the uh, American version. I'm not sure why, but... I honestly really didn't think I was going to be a fan of the clear figure either. I thought I was just going to use the pack here for uh, the American version and just, you know, put it on that and just keep this as a display piece, just, you know, show it off uh, a regular prime, but I tell you what, I freaking love doing this. Okay, so, you get it started, you take this part. Oh, yeah, missiles fire. Woo! Take the Magnus hammer off. Oh, and by the way, the mat, the uh, 
leader Magnus hammer will fit in uh, the hands here. I'm not going to show it off, but this this one's uh, more in scale. So first off, for the jetpack, we're going to flip these around. It's all rotational stuff. And we'll take the white bar back here, and it will it will fit in uh, pretty snugly right in there. I was actually afraid when I first transformed the uh, the figure. Uh, I was breaking it because it was all clear plastic and stuff like that. I thought it was more, more fragile. Uh, you know, even though, look, without the other stuff on it, it looks pretty good like this. But, we'll keep going. So then, take the blasters here, and they will fit into a groove in the back there. Yeah, I'm gonna try to keep that in. Take the other blaster. Pop that in. Sometimes it's hard to keep it all in symmetrical stuff with the back pegging in that part right in there. It, it doesn't fully go together all that well and I wish they had figured out a way to make that work. Um, let me take the gauntlets, flip out the wing, kind of angle this in just a tiny bit, and kind of like twist it on, and there's one gauntlet arm. Then you take the other one, kind of leave it angled in, flip out the wing, and... There's the wing blade armor on Prime. Oh yeah, hold on. There you go. Now see, my problem is, uh, is that it'll keep falling back like that, and it annoys me. See, this is supposed to peg in to the back of the neck, and it won't do that securely. I mean, it'll stay in, but then, you know, this is just this is on luck right now for keeping in. Uh, let me take the Magnus hammer. Um, I've heard people complain about their fingers not being springy enough. You know that pulling back and then just being really loose. Mine are actually very tight, tightly spun. And I like it a lot. Then we'll just pop it in here in a little groove in there. A lot of people uh, actually were like, oh, well, it just stays in like this and just hangs there. But there's a groove in there that you got to put it into right inside of his fingers, not on the hand. And it will pop right back in, and there you go. There's his uh, energonically sized. Hammer. Now mine had a little bit of uh, QC problems. Uh, see this gauntlet right here? See how it's um, a solid blue? This one has a, uh, a lighter blue on it. So that this one forgot to get painted. Which is um, a minor flaw. Not knocking against the figure was uh, it's a car's fault, you know, not getting that one painted. Um, I'm not gonna go ahead and send it back to Big Bad Toy Store and be like, oh, this is, you know, this is, uh, this, is, this didn't turn out right, you yeah. uh, know. So, yeah, I really love this figure. It's been really cool. I, um, I even found it, like, what seems like a correct way to put it on the uh, deluxe version 
and I might go ahead and do that I'm not sure but you know if I do I'll get it on video or something here's the uh, American version definitely a big difference you know for some reason it gives it a lot more height and just not I'm not talking about just the wings here giving it height but I mean just like even if the wings were on it just gives it a hell of a lot more height for some reason I, I'm not really sure maybe it's just because you know how wide it is and everything I'm not sure but anyway this has been another one of his prime reviews uh, probably the last animated ones for a while just stick Bumblebee right in there so if um, you like more videos like this uh, animated you know they're on my channel not many but there are some there are some uh, so check out my channel subscribe if you want you know hey maybe I'll be uh, pretty famous on YouTube about these uh, reviews like PR uh, Sean Long and everybody maybe one day that's all if I get more subscribers uh, Thank you very much. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. Oh yeah, did I mention subscribe?